other day i rushed this brand new account all the way to town hall 15. now we're gonna start fixing it I get a ton of requests for rushed content on the channel, so I decided to rush this one up. And it could be a little bit more rushed, but it can't be much more rushed than this. Taking a look at our progress base, pretty much every single building on the base still <laughs> needs upgraded because we just started the account. If you take a look at it, like we got like 47 day boosts on our power potion, 35 day boosts on our heroes because we just rushed straight up to Town Hall 15. Some people were asking me, Bash, why didn't you buy the Town Hall 15 pack? We bought every pack on the way up. Honestly, guys, I was just exhausted. It was like 2.30 in the morning on the second night of recording this. I was just ready to be done. So what we're gonna do today, since we do have the brand new Lunar New Year stuff as well, we'll go on a little mini spinning spree. We'll buy that Town Hall 15 pack. We'll buy that Feeder Scenery pack. Since it does come with a little bit of loot, I kind of like that skin, but we don't need that skin. The skin's not gonna offer us any loot. We don't need that statue, but we will buy all this stuff over here. Of course, if you guys are gonna be buying this stuff, make sure you use code bash. I'm definitely gonna be buying the statue and the skin on my main account, which maybe I'll show that over on the second channel where I'm doing my legends attacks on my main account. But let me go ahead, let's buy these, and then let's uh, let's come up with a plan. All right, guys, those packs are bought. Let's place those new items. Oh yeah, new monolith. Uh, uh, we can upgrade that if we want. But we'll talk about the upgrades. We got one of our spell towers, which actually that will be <laughs> that'll be like our first max defense on the base. If I'm if I'm right here, that'll be our first max defense. Let's set it to invisible to fly the town hall, uh, just because that'll be funny. But guys, we have so much work to do here. I mean, if we look at our resource buildings, they're boosted for 42 days essentially 42 days of boost that's insane oh and of course we want to get that new scenery that we just bought we might as well go ahead and equip it magic theater scenery i kind of like this one it's got a cool little look to it cool little vibe i like the little theater over here really really cool features on this scenery but the question really here is what the heck are we gonna do with this guys i mean that's that's the real thing and we have a lot of essential buildings over here that need to be upgraded heroes definitely need to go up but the biggest thing is like builders right now we already went on a crazy jumping spree to get here but i think like i got things kind of in a nice little order here of things we need to kind of prioritize to kind of get up here but as if you see here they're kind of longer upgrades now we do have builder potions which can help out with that i think we're going to actually go ahead since that's a nine hour upgrade we'll go ahead we'll get our clan castle up since it is a rush account, we want to focus on the offensive units as are the offensive troops and uh, buildings and all that kind of stuff first. Stuff like uh, the army camps and uh, the clan castle and our heroes and our laboratory. We definitely want to focus on all that first. We want to get like the barracks upgraded. We got a lot of stuff that we can get upgraded here, but it's going to be a little bit of a process here, guys. It's not going to be an overnight sensation. And one thing I think we're going to do is just uh, use this builder potion to kind of get us started here today. I think we'll go ahead and we'll drop down this lowest army camp, which is only four hours. And then we'll go ahead and we'll boost this up. Now I have an idea and I'm curious if you guys would want to see this uh, series within a series as we get these army camps and stuff up. I kind of want to push the legends using only sneaky goblins and then do like some legends attacks with only sneaky goblins. Is that something you guys would want to see? We definitely want to get our offense up a little bit uh before we do that but it's an idea i have and realistically like i know we could just wait for these builder potions but i feel like it makes a little bit of sense to kind of gem this kind of gem this and get some of these like lower storages going up that way we can get up multiple levels on these i like four minutes on this like we can get tons of levels on this elixir storage that way we can kind of knock out bigger chunks while we're boosted and i'm going to be paying attention to the account anyways so I might as well get these up. So that's gonna be my process over the next hour. I'm gonna work on getting some of these storages up, getting that army camp up and just using this boost to its full extent. As you see here, that, that was pretty much instant. I mean, that took what, less than a minute? So we can go ahead and get that back up. And 
the full boost will get all the way to our clan castle because a builder potion knocks out 10 hours of upgrades in one hour so that clan castle will all be all the way done and we'll have some freed up buildings and we might pop off another one afterwards and just upgrade some of these mines and stuff that way we're not completely wasting the potential there i mean those will go super fast so I think with our next boost, after we get some of this stuff upgraded, we'll knock out some of these resource bu buildings. Uh, that way we're not wasting the full boost on that. So as we get this boost going here, I just realized, you know, we need to take a look at our laboratory. And if we are gonna do the sneaky goblin thing, it probably makes sense to get our wall breakers up too. We can do super sneakies and super wall breakers. So I guess we'll start there in the laboratory, but we also do have like a million dark elixir. So we might as well drop down a pet and out of these two, I mean, Diggy replaces Lassie. Owl is useful with air attack. So I guess we'll go with Owl for the time being just to get some things going and getting those offensive, offensive upgrades going. Now, once this is done, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start boosting on all these mines and stuff here. Actually, uh, just for the sake of not having to cut away, we're, we'll do that right now. So I think what we'll do is we'll just use the rest of this boost just to kind of like upgrade all these mines and uh, the collectors just to kind of start working through there because uh, with the boosts going, we're losing a lot of loot by not having these upgraded to a higher level so they can hold more loot inside of them. So we definitely want to get these up a little bit. And I think that's what I'm going to do for the rest of this boost and maybe even into another boost here is just start getting some of these collectors going up and just working our way down the line. Now, Dark Elixir collectors, those will be fine. But our regular collectors, they're definitely going to need some work. And as all these builders kind of come out, we'll be able to get these going up that way we can get that storage capacity up and we're not wasting so much loot with all these collectors being boosted for 48 days and even going to level three isn't very much i mean three minutes 12 seconds at uh 10 times boost is what 18 19 seconds so we could definitely get these going up pretty quickly and just kind of keep that progression going keep everything flowing even when we get to level four it's only eight minutes which what that's 480 that's only 48 seconds per so we should be able to make some nice progress on all of these mines throughout the rest of this boost um, my kind of measurement for the boost is the clan castle it's like halfway so we still have quite a bit to go on this boost and i think we can make a nice little dent getting our mines and our elixir collectors upgraded here all right guys so i bought a builder potion from the trader but i'm thinking here and my mind's going crazy like oh yeah we definitely need to get offense up we need to get the army camps up we need to get the clan castle up and the laboratory up but at the same time i'm thinking with this stuff boosted and how low our base is if we get our collectors and our mines up we don't actually need to really hardcore farm too much that's where my mind is so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh go in here to the trader and we're going to buy these other two builder potions we're kind of low on gems but we also spent like thirty thousand gems in the video Ugh, that's crazy so i'm going to use those builder potions and i'm just going to grind away at all these elixir collectors and gold mines and even try to get our elixir storages up to a little bit of a higher level that way we can just try to take advantage of this because these are boosted for 42 days that's a significant amount of time and when we upgrade them they gain you know for example 300 per hour that's 30 percent boost per hour by upgrading it i mean at the next level going to level seven it's another 300 per hour it's not quite 30 percent, but it's still significant so i think that's why the move right now for us being this rushed and having this much boost for us i think it makes sense to upgrade the gold mines and collectors we need to do something about that dark elixir i'm aware but for the time being, I think this is the best move for us. Oh man, it's gonna be a grind, but we're in for the long haul now, guys. We got a brand new Rush Town Hall 15 with a lot of work needed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.